the next real key element in getting this to function properly is FTPing uh, files to your site um, in this uh, arrangement. Um, wherever they're going to be, they need to be in uh, the root directory of your site. They also need to be in this file structure. Um, Lightbox 2 will be the main file. It's basically the same setup as you have an antenna. Um, go inside Lightbox 2. You've got your CSS folder, images, JavaScript, large images, and your thumbnails. Uh, obviously, your large images are the ones that pop up, and I'm using thumbnails as my triggers to activate the Lightbox uh, effect. Uh, make sure you get those in the correct order um, so that they are directly inside uh, the folder that says Lightbox 2. If they're not there and the directories aren't in line with what you have set up in Antenna, uh, the Lightbox is not going to function. So uh, it's real important for those to be in the proper place. We are back in Antenna. We're going to go ahead and uh, click Publish. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and do a walk through here real quick. Excuse me. Just for a while. I'm going to go up so I can get to the root of my site here. And another way of importing your images would be create a dummy page and then add all those thumbnails and the large images to this dummy page and then that would get your images uh, uploaded to your site in that manner as well. So we're going to go, I'm going to click index page. I want to just double check uh, and make sure everything is linked correctly before I go ahead and publish. There's the gallery. We'll click that. Should load the gallery. There it is. My links. Okay. And right now we're just checking to make sure that the correct um, picture is linked with the correct thumbnail. So, and it should all be looking good. We'll just check this one last time. Everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and go back to Antenna and then go ahead and publish. Okay, here we are back in Antenna. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. And we should have some magic here shortly. I always click Show Details because I like to watch that stuff going up. I need to untick something because I had just deleted some files on the server, so I want to make sure that they get uh, published back up there. There we go. Just get everything on there. There you can see your large images and your thumbnails being uploaded into the correct directory. Okay, that's done. We should be able to go to our site and see some magic. So let's do that. Okay, here we are uh, on our page. Uh, this is Lightbox Tutorial Smith ds.com. That's where I've created this thing to be. We're going to go ahead and click the gallery and we're going to check to see uh, what we've done. Now keep in mind that the linkage code that I used for this is going to open uh, a single image. There we go. There's our effect. There's our light box. And you can see this one is tagged here, flower one. You can either click close or you can click anywhere off outside that box and it will close it. Um, this one here, flower two, we're good. And it should open each picture. Just like that. Now these are again. This is the code for a single group. Now if you want to group them together so that you can click either to the right of the image here or to the left of the image, depending on where you are in the sequence of pictures, you can click that area and it will proceed to the next picture. Um, again, these are all just linked separately. So obviously, when I click those areas, it does nothing. We're going to close that. We're going to go back to Antenna, and I'm going to show you how to add the code for a group. Okay, here we are back in Antenna. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the first. Oh, we need to go up, make sure we're on the right layer. Click that. I'm going to go in here. And now you can name the group whatever you want, but um, all you need to add is the bracket here. I just going to type in all, and that will be more or less all the images there. Now, by changing this small designation here, even though I have the code separate on each one of these separate HTML uh, triggers, it will open them all as a group. So you don't have to click close or click off the page to close that picture to go to the next one. You should be able to uh, go ahead and go to the next one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that real quick and we're going to paste that in uh, on the other seven pictures real quick. 
and then you can see the result of that change in code. Okay, now I've gone ahead and I've changed the rest of these here. We're going to go ahead and click Publish. And click to Publishing. Back to just Changes Only. Click Publish. Should just update the gallery. Not a problem. And we're going to go and check out and see our results. Okay, here we are. We're going to refresh our page. Make sure that that's been updated. I'm going to click an image as it opens. Now if you move your hand, do you see how it changes? Cursor is no longer an arrow, it's a hand. Now if I click that, that will proceed to the next image. Again, I can go there, or I can click on this side and I can go back to the previous image. And that's just a way to group them so that you have all of them um, showing up in the same frame without having to click out of the frame and then go back and click the next thumbnail or trigger, whether it's either a text or a JPEG. And then you just can click right on through them kind of a nice feature and obviously you can see below this here tells me how many images I have and which image I'm on at the current moment so that obviously that would tell you which way you can click if you want to go right or left at this point when you get to the end obviously it's going to stop and you will no longer be able to click at that far left or far right once you get to the end of your images now that I'm on image one I can no longer click on the left but I can go back to the right and keep going so that's basically it there's your uh, tutorial. I'm going to be um, doing another short tutorial on how to add an HTML code um, to the uh, code you put in here for your triggers so that you can at the bottom here have an e-commerce link either to PayPal or your shopping cart or whatever uh, device you're using for collecting money for your sales. So hope that was helpful. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if there's any questions on any of it, um, please uh, get on the forum, give us a buzz, we'll get back to you as soon as possible and try and get you guys up and running with this light box. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. And I'd like to give a big thanks uh, and shout out to Graham for spending all this time getting Lightbox to function properly in Antenna. Uh, he spends a lot of time on these scripts, uh, getting them working in Antenna. That's obviously a passion of his. We appreciate it. He doesn't get paid for his time on this stuff, but uh, a big thanks to Graham uh, for doing this. Thank you.